In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render a scene. Right now, we're looking at 3ds Max and our four viewports. Your scene might look a little bit different. Um, you do not have to replicate this scene. I am just showing you what a finished rendered product is going to look like. So as you can see, if I click on my sphere, this is the object that is animated. Um, with the sphere activated, I can see each one of my keyframes 0 to 100. Um, you can change the number of keyframes by clicking on the time configuration button um, right down here by all of your animation and viewport controls. So the first thing that I want to do when I render is I'm going to go up to the rendering tab and I'm going to go to render setup. When render setup opens, we have a few parameters that we need to adjust. First, you want to make sure that you are in production rendering mode. If you are in anything other than this, go ahead and select production rendering mode. Your renderer should be set to mental ray if you're using any of the Autodesk materials in that library. Or if you're using simple materials, then go ahead and use a default scan line renderer. For this, I would like you to use the mental ray renderer. I have a camera set up in my scene, which is my quadrant four, uh, physical camera one. That can be seen in this quadrant. You can see that it is activated. It is highlighted in yellow. If I click in any other viewport, you see that my view to render changes. So I want to make sure that I am rendering in the view that is best and that's going to give me the most information. So for that one, it's going to be quadrant four with my camera. If you are rendering a single JPEG or a still, you want your time output to be single. So it's going to render the time segment that you are currently at. However, I want to render my active time segment, which is going to be frame 0 to 100. That is my entire animation. Next, I want to look at my output size. It defaults to 640 by 480. This is a good size to work with. Um, if you want high quality, you can do HDTV. But for this assignment, we are going to just stick with the custom output size, which is 640 by 480. Finally, we want to make sure that we have a place to save our render output. So what you're going to do is you're going to select your personal folder in CAD data. Do not render to your desktop. Do not render to this render output fo folder. You're going to find your personal folder in CAD data and render to there. So what I want you to do is I'm going to go to my personal folder here and I'm going to save it in here because that's easy for me to access. And I'm going to name my file, my last name, underscore the title of my project, which for me, I'm going to call this bouncing ball. And if you try to click save, nothing's going to happen. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your save as type is going to be an AVI. An AVI is a video format that you're going to use to render your scenes. If you would like to save it as a JPEG, what you're going to end up having is 100 images of your scene, which is OK as well. We can assemble that as a stop motion. But for now, I would like you to render it as an AVI. Once you've chosen your file destination, and you've named your file, and you've selected what type of file you'd like to save it as, you're going to click Save. Uh, DV video encoder is just fine. We're going to say OK. And then you're going to scroll up here and you're going to click on render. What you're going to see is the processing. So right now the render is processing each individual keyframe. So there's going to be a hundred of them. Um, to save memory on your computer, you can go ahead and close out of it. But leave this running. I'm going to pause the tutorial to let this finish rendering, and then I will restart it so you can see the final animation. So now I'm going to go to my file save destination. Yours is going to be in CAD data. Mine is somewhere else. I'm going to click on my bouncing ball video. And we're going to see the render. Um, if yours doesn't play the first time, it could just take a few minutes to sync with everything else. But that is how you render in 3ds Max.